Hi guys, I'm Merrick with TNK and this is Watch Eric. Today we're going to be making this mobile tool car. Here's the overview for this project. The design for this project is from my friend Fisher Shop. If you want to see the full design for this project, you can go to his website and get the plans. For this project, you really need a table saw. If you don't have a table saw, you can make them cut it for you in Home Depot. Like I did in the past video, a workbench with no tools. As you can see, you have a lot of sawdust in your chop, so it's really necessary to have a mask. Luckily, my friend from Basecamp sent me this dust mask to try it. I used to have other dust mats that are more heavy and take more time to use it and you feel uncomfortable using it. But this one are super light, so sometimes you forgot that you, you are wearing a mask. So this is really good because you can breathe and you can protect your, your lungs. So I really like this mask. With other masks, you feel uncomfortable when you're wetting and it's high temperature in your chop. But for, with this one, you really feel good so you can breathe normal. I will leave in the description below the link for this uh, dust mask. The material that I'm using for this project is red oak, maple, and walnut. Okay guys, so I forgot to mention that I, have, I made so many mistakes when I was cutting. So you can see I, I, I had to buy uh, two plywood sheets more, two plywood sheets more, because I, I measure incorrect the width with the length. So in order to uh, avoid this issue, so trying to always measure twice and make sure that you're measuring the width or you're measuring the, the, the length because sometimes that's, yeah, for me it's fine. I, 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 I is the first time doing this, so yeah, I was a good experience to uh, learn. So yeah, do keep in mind, so make sure to you're measuring the width correctly or the length because you can uh, confuse and cut incorrectly and is it like it's a long part, you have to buy another uh, sheet. Okay guys, so another tip, when you're uh, cutting on the table saw, so you need to make sure which is the good side on, on your plywood and which one is the bad or the one that is not for, for the finish. So you always gonna cut your uh, plywood uh, with the good side on the top. So that means that's gonna be in that way. Because this all we get at tear down and you can see some, um, yeah, I don't think you can see here. Uh, you can see some uh, splinters and everything on the edges. So yeah, you always need to make sure to you cut your work piece on the top, the good one on the top of the table saw. So that's a good tip that I was not aware of until I cut half of the plywood sheet and then I was like, why I need to sand off everything? So now I figured out, okay, it needs to be in the top. So just a quick tip to when you're cutting on the table saw. Like is a lot of pieces, I recommend to tag all the parts. The first step is build the drawers. To speed up this process, I really recommend these uh, 90 degrees right angle clamps. 
I will leave in the description below the link for these clamps. Oh. Another tip and a mistake that I did, the back of the drawer is going outside, not inside. To secure the frame and the body, we are going to use pocket holes. I really recommend mark the width and the height for each board. I make the mistake of put pocket holes on the wrong side. Now using parallel clamps, we connect both sides with the back. Before I proceed with the next, I verify that the drawer fits. And now we connect it with the bottom. I use a separator to keep both sides aligned. Now we sent all the drawers. And now using the line that we create, we align and install the slides. I cut to length, in this case the height of the location where I'm going to install the slides for the drawers.
And now we install the drawer slides. And now we install the top cover. The drawer faces need to be shaped off. Otherwise, you can see here they're tight. Normally, you shape off one eight. It depends on each uh, drawer, but always need to be a space between each drawer. Now for get some spacers, use uh, poker, poker cards. Again, it depends on uh, how many space you wanna leave. Normally you put six, seven, and uh, at the end I put 12. And now you clamp and secure the drawer faces to the drawer. And now for the knobs or the pull from the drawers, I'm using walnut and I'm cutting a quarter from each side and it's creating a T shape that will be good for good grip.
now we check and it looks pretty good. And now we install the casters. And now to enhance the color, I used Danish oil, natural. and voila Hey guys, time for a wrap up. So I really enjoyed this project. I can say that it's a project that I, must, that I was most uh, excited for doing it. And the reason is because since I started the woodwork, I wanted to make something like a mold card with, with more, more important with the drawers. But this voice was the one making me scared. Like, oh, I don't know if I can do install drawers and make that make into the size and then make sure they have the, the space between the, the rails and everything like that so i was super scared to start one something pretty similar to this and now i feel some confident i can do more and more and other type of uh, similar project so if you are in that position like me i really encourage you that just do it like you see in my video i waste a lot of material and I make a lot of mistakes, but it's fine. I think for me that uh, expenses or time is, is part of the rebel learning. And I, I really, I, I think I, it's something that I wanted to try So since I started this uh, journey of woodwork. So uh, I really recommend this project for everyone with the level of medium expertise to, uh, I don't know, experts. I think it's something that everyone can do it. And if you have any questions about this project, please put it down below. And remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. And see you next time. Adios.